Hello everyone, I am Suresh Bhandari, Chief of Supplements and Senior Functional Nutritionist at Ithai. Today I am going to show you how to get your GMAP test done. Once you register for GMAP test, you will receive this GMAP sample collection kit at your home. Once you unbox it, there are two things which you will see at first. One, your stool collection instructions and secondly, your requisition form. Now, it's very important for you to fill this requisition form correctly and make sure that each and every information you filled is correct as per your own information. And this you have to put it into, inside your non biohazard bag and send there. So once you fill this patient information section, that is all you have to fill it. The rest you just have to leave it because that's our information which it's already filled. When you see this biohazard bag, it contains three things. One, two disposable gloves. One stool collection container and one is a tissue paper. So now this is your stool collection container. You have to collect first morning stool sample in it. There's a spoon attached to it. So when you collect your stools in this container which has been provided to you. So put your poop in here then around 2 to 3 tablespoon of it put this in this red liquid remember you don't have to throw this red liquid out because this act as a preservative till the time it reaches the lab also make sure that this red liquid rises up to this red line okay. so ideally 3 to 4 spoons of this which has been attached to it does the job uh, of course do it uh, dear, uh, while wearing your gloves and once you have done this collected the sample you can dispose the gloves off then just collect your uh, sample wrap up the tissue paper around it and then just put it in the biozat bag with the sample regression form that's it now this will go inside this box okay Make sure there's nothing else in there. Once you have closed this box, you just have to put this in this big FedEx bag, which must be in your kit. So this is your uh, almost the packaging has been done. Now all you have to do is there are three commercial invoices within in your kit. Okay. Just fill the information which has been required by you, specifically the name, date, address, and whatever information has been asked under your first row for all of these three commercial invoices. Once you do that, put it in the FedEx envelope bag. Okay. Now, once you put that, there are some other documents which you might be having uh, specifically non-infectious uh, certificate, doctor's prescription, which must have been provided by a nutritionist. So if you have that, put that document with these commercial invoices in this envelope and then just stuck this envelope in the front of the FedEx box. Once you uh, do this process, call FedEx for collection. Uh, when your whenever your uh, date has been uh, scheduled for pickup, make sure to put this sample in the fridge until unless it gets picked up. Let's say if you have collected this sample today morning, and if the collection is happening by the FedEx tomorrow, so put till that time put it in refrigerator for uh, prevention basis. Okay. And uh, that's all. Just few things you need to remember. If you have any doubts, queries, clarification required on how to do any of the other things, make sure you contact your nutritionist as well as your health coach to get clarification on the same because it's always better to correct at the moment or else once it gets shipped and then it gets rejected. Thank you, hope that helps.